Transform your leftover turkey into a delicious Instant Pot Southwest Turkey Soup. Hi, Mindful Moms and Dads, Kristen here. As someone who suffers from a chronic disease, I believe homemade is best, but it doesn't need to be complicated. When it comes to Thanksgiving leftovers, you're either like me, exhausted because you've been cooking and preparing for days, or maybe you've over ate your turkey and stuffing and mashed potatoes and you want something new. Well, I have the perfect recipe for you. Today I'm gonna share with you a super easy turkey soup that's sort of like a chicken tortilla soup and it tastes nothing like Thanksgiving dinner. So let's put on our kitchen capes and make this easy Instant Pot turkey soup. One of the reasons I love this recipe is because A, it doesn't taste like Thanksgiving dinner, so it gives me something new to enjoy so that I'm not sick of eating the same thing over and over. And it also is so easy to prepare and it uses pantry staples, meaning that I don't have to worry about having space in my fridge to have the ingredients needed to make this turkey soup. The things are already in my pantry with a leftover turkey and a few staples, this soup comes together pretty effortlessly. The first thing we want to do is turn our Instant Pot to saute and we're going to add in a little bit of oil and let that heat. To the heated oil, I'm adding in one minced onion and one green pepper that I've diced finely. We're going to saute that up just until our onions and green peppers begin to soften. It should only take two to three minutes. And if you're really in a hurry, you can skip sauteing the onion and green pepper, just omit them from your soup. This soup will have plenty of flavor even without the onion and green pepper. Once our onion softened, hit cancel on our Instant Pot to turn off the saute function. And then I wanna add in just a little bit of chicken stock. Now, if you happen to have turkey stock from your leftover turkey bones, you can certainly use that. At this point, I haven't made any turkey broth, so I'm just using good old store-bought chicken stock because I used all my homemade chicken stock to make all my Thanksgiving recipes. So I have about a half a cup of chicken stock in here, and then I'm just gonna scrape up any brown bits on the bottom of my inner pot to prevent a burn notice. And then I'm gonna add in two cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies, AKA Rotel tomatoes. And you wanna make sure that you get mild Rotel tomatoes so that your soup isn't overly spicy. I'm also adding in about a cup of leftover corn here. You can certainly use canned corn, just make sure you drain it well. About two to three cups of leftover chopped turkey. I have some dark meat and white meat in this mix. And then I'm gonna add in additional chicken broth here. Now this recipe calls for a total of four cups of broth. I'm only adding about three and a half cups before I pressure cook because I'm going to use a half a cup of the broth to mix with cream cheese to add after we're done pressure cooking. If you don't want a creamy soup or you need a dairy-free soup, add the four cups of chicken broth now to the recipe and omit the cream cheese. Now to season up my turkey soup, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. If you happen to have my homemade blend of taco seasoning on hand, you can add one and a half to two tablespoons of that blend. If not, just use the spices as directed. And I almost forgot an ingredient. We're also going to add in two cans of black beans. I'm gonna give these beans a good rinse just to get off any extra sodium, and then pop that into the inner pot. Now we can give everything a good stir just to combine. And pop our lid on our Instant Pot. Make sure your vent knob is sealed. And then to set cooking time, we only need to cook our turkey soup for five minutes. Hit manual or pressure cook and use the plus or minus buttons to adjust to read five. Now while our soup is cooking, let me talk about adding cream cheese to your soup. First of all, it's completely optional. But what the cream cheese does is it gives the soup a nice creamy finish and helps tame down some of those spices that we added and the spice from the Rotel tomatoes. You can certainly omit it. You can just opt to top your turkey soup with shredded cheese or keep it dairy-free. 
Either way, it will be delicious. But let me show you how to add cream cheese so that it blends into your soup nice and smooth. Now, a secret to having cream cheese really incorporate in your soup is to make sure that it's at room temperature. But if you've forgotten to get your cream cheese out hours before you prepare your soup, don't worry. What you wanna do is open up an eight ounce package of cream cheese. We only need four ounces today. I'm gonna place those four ounces into a sandwich bag and then I'm gonna submerge that sandwich bag into warm water. Just let your cream cheese hang out there in the warm water while your turkey soup cooks. Once the cooking time has elapsed, let pressure release naturally for at least 15 minutes. That way you don't have boiling hot liquid all over your kitchen and potentially burn yourself. While our pressure is releasing, I'm gonna show you another tip for really incorporating the cream cheese into our soup and getting it nice and creamy and smooth. You may remember we only used three and a half cups of chicken stock. I'm gonna pour the other half cup into a blender and then I'm gonna put my softened cream cheese into the blender. It's still important that our cream cheese is softened so that it fully breaks down. Blend that on high until it's nice and creamy. At this point, our pressure's been released. We can open up our inner pot. Mmm, smells so good. And then we can pour in our cream cheese mixture. Give that a good stir. And then pop our lid back on the inner pot just for five minutes or so, just to warm through that cream cheese mixture. After you've let your Instant Pot sit and the soup fully warm, you're ready to serve. Oh my goodness. It reminds me of a chicken tortilla soup with a little extra kick. It's creamy, it's spicy. It really, really is a great way to transform turkey into something completely different than Thanksgiving. It's a great soup. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you put good use to your Thanksgiving leftovers. And be sure to catch my next video where I show you how to make those homemade spice blends like taco seasoning I was talking about earlier so that you can always have them on hand to make quick, delicious meals. Until then, happy cooking. Mm.